Here we go. What's going on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. And this video is going to cover nested if functions. If you haven't gone through an if function before, if you're not really familiar with it, I actually did another video. I think it was like one of the first videos I made for the channel that I can provide a link for you. I recommend giving that a quick watch just to familiarize yourself with the concept and then come back and watch this. Uh, however, a an However, a nested if function is actually an if function within an if function, right? So this example I'm about to go through is actually directly from the micro Microsoft site. So I will provide a link to that where you can look at that video yourself if you want to practice it on your own. It's going to be a very simple thing to look at. Um, but essentially, real quick, right? So if I have this cell equal to 1, an if function is if it's this equal to 1, right? Yay. If not, ooh. Oops. So, yay, right? So, if it's this, then that. So, in this situation here, right, we were setting up multiple if functions because we want to update the grade based on the score. So, what we're going to do here is equal if this is greater than or equal to 90 it's going to be an a if it's not greater than or equal to 90 we want to run another situation here right so we're actually going to go ahead and start a new if function and we're going to do c3 same cell greater than or equal to 80 b and we still have a few more ranges here we need to cover, right? So we're going to do another if function. Same cell, greater than or equal to 70. And that is a C. And notice that, again, I'm using letters, so I need to put those in parentheses. And we have at least one more range here, right? So if greater than or equal to 60, that is a D. And that's it for the ranges, right? So if it doesn't meet any of these ranges, then it, you got an F. So notice here, too, we actually opened up a number of parentheses, so we need to close all of these. So what's kind of nice is that it actually gives you a distinguished color to help make sure that you have everything closed. So I close that. I close the purple, red, and black. Right? Okay, so this is greater than or equal to 70, so that's a C, B, A, B. So it looks like it worked. So as a reminder, if you want to look at this again, there's another video directly from the Microsoft site that there's a link in the description below if you want to look at it for yourself. Uh, I do want to point out I actually made another video similar with a similar premise of updating a score and grading where you actually take a lookup function and it'll help create the range for you without having to create as long as an if function. So I'll provide a link for that as well. Uh, just in case you're interested to kind of see how you can approach this in more than one way. That's the beauty of Excel. So the next example I want to show you is actually a you kind of taking it a step further. I want to show you how to use nested if functions with a VLOOKUP. Okay, so like I said, this one might be a little bit of a doozy. But Essentially, what I'm going to try to do is show an if function within an if function and also using a VLOOKUP. So I have a status here where I'm going to end up filling in that very formula I just spoke about. And I'm going to use it based on column C and B. So notice in column C, there are some blank cells that I intentionally left blank. And I'm going to use that as a trigger for the if function to kick in to use a VLOOKUP on the second table here, right? So I'm going to use the, both of these tables, and based on what it finds, it's going to switch tables and give me a different status. So I also want it to not only provide me the status from the VLOOKUP, but I also want to customize my own status based on what is found in the VLOOKUP. That was pretty dense. But uh, let's go ahead and let's just give this a shot and see how it works out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with doing an if. And 
I'm going to use a function called is NA. So when a VLOOKUP doesn't find something, it spits out an NA. So I'm going to do is NA. So if the VLOOKUP ends up being an NA, I'm going to use that as a trigger, right? So here's my logic function. So use VLOOKUP. And I'm going to look up C. This table. It doesn't really matter if I use one or two here, but I'm just going to use two because that's not really what I'm intending to do here. False. And so if this VLOOKUP becomes, it becomes an is NA, right? If that's true, then I wanted to do another if function. And let's do a VLOOKUP in the customer column here, right? Because this is my second table is using customer names. And then this table array here. So this is important here because I want to update the name based on the status that it spits out. So I'm going to give that a two and false. So that's my VLOOKUP. And I want this to equal, is it, if it equals back order, parentheses, I want it to spit out not ready. And if it doesn't, essentially, if it doesn't equal back order, I want it to say error. Okay, so that is that's pretty long logic for that second if function there. So I just closed the parentheses. And essentially, if all of this ends up being false. I want it to spit out ready. So, okay, so let's walk through this again. So if the VLOOKUP becomes an NA, I want it to run, essentially run a new function here. So if, if it runs another VLOOKUP and it spits out back order, I want it to say not ready. And if it doesn't say back order, I want it to say error. However, this ready at the very end is actually referencing all the way at the beginning. So if, if there is no NA, so if, if, if the VLOOKUP works fine, if it finds whatever it needs to find in here, then I wanted to change the status to ready. So if I close the, uh, I have the parentheses closed and I just press enter on the formula. Notice that this spits out ready, right? So all of these should essentially be ready. And then th these are all going to update accordingly. Right, so not ready, not ready, and error, right? So Michael, I put as an error because he had an order error here, right? So this might be like a code status. So I want it to be like based on this, right? If it's back order, just not ready. But if there's an error, you know, maybe I want to know if there's any errors where I would highlight, oops, sorry, I would highlight maybe like equal to error and use conditional formatting here, right? So that'll let me know like, oh crap, there's something wrong here. So yeah, uh, that was, like I said, that was probably pretty dense, uh, but I wanted to kind of show a little bit more of an advanced nested if function. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful for you. And if you ever run into a situation like this, at least maybe you know how to better handle it going forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.